Hey guys, here I'll take you through the basics of a microscope. And to do that, I'll take you through the parts of the microscope, how to get you set up, and then finally, how to get a crisp image. All right, let's get started. Okay, so here we got the microscope. This is a monocular microscope because you look through it using one eye rather than a binocular microscope. You can use it like this, or you can spin this around and use it like this. So this is how we'll do it, just so we can see all the rest of the, uh, the parts here. We have the, we have the head. This is the head that we were spinning around. You have the arm that the head's attached to. You got the arm here and you got the base down here. This top piece, this is the eyepiece or ocular lens. And this has a magnification of 10X. You don't usually take this off. You don't need to take this off for any reason. I'm just doing that just to show you. We also have the nose, which is what I'm touching here. This is the nose that spins these objective lenses here. You have red, a red objective lens, yellow, blue, white, or sometimes black. And these have different magnifications, just like this ocular lens has is a magnification of 10x. These also have uh, different um, magnifications. For example, the red is always 4x, and the yellow is always 10x, the blue is always 40x, and the white or black is 100. X. We also have the stage right here. You have the coarse adjustment knob. That's this large one here. And you have the fine adjustment knob. If you spin even just a quarter of a turn, you can see how fast the stage moves up and down. That's using the coarse. You see that. However, you spin the fine adjustment knob, and you don't really see, at least with the naked eye, the stage moving, although it is moving up and down. That's because it's, it's, a, it's a fine adjustment. You have your stage clip. This is the stage, this is the stage clip, and this is what you'll set your slide into and clip it in just like that. And you have your light source down here. That's what you turn on, um, and the light will shine right through, all the way up into, right through the diaphragm, through the stage, through the objective lens, and right through the, um, through the ocular lens. And if we spin this around, these are also important. You have two knobs right here. And these are your mechanical stage control knobs, mechanical stage control knobs. The top one here will move the stage forward and backward. And what that does is allow you to see different parts of your specimen forward and backward. And the second one moves just the stage clip, which moves your slide back and forth. And that moves left that moves the uh the specimen left to right left and right and by doing that you can see all parts of your specimen and then depending on what kind of microscope you have you'll have some a few knobs one adjusts the the uh the the strength the brightness of of your light source you see you have one two three four five and so on and um on the back on this particular model on the back this is how you'll turn it on and off under the stage you'll have a few other controls this is the diaphragm here and this will will um, also help adjust the crispness of your uh, of, of, of the image and so along with the light source you can um, adjust this back and forth to adjust um, how clear the image is um, 
when, when you look through the microscope. Now it's time to put this thing to work. First thing you'll do is turn on your light source, just like that. And then next you want to drop your stage all the way down as far as it can go. Or just, you know, down that way to give you some room to put your slide in. Open up your stage clip like this. You set this, set your slide in, and again, and you'll want that to be perpendicular, nice and snug in there. And then another very important thing is you always need to start using the objective lens, the red one, which is 4X. So make sure that that's locked into place. Watch this. You hear that? It you lock it into place. Otherwise, you'll always see a black image. Nothing, nothing will actually shine right through. Then the next thing you do, before you even look in, th look through the, the eyepiece, you just want to eyeball your specimen and, and kind of put it in the, have the light shine in the center of your, of your slide. Then, once that happens, then you can look through the um, the eyepiece and you slowly using the course knob you slowly bring your stage up until the image becomes clear as clear as it can be using the course the course knob is the only the only time you use the course knob is when you're on the 4x on the red the only time that you use the course adjustment knob this large one is when you're on the red the reason why is because once you've once you've gotten the image as clear as you can as you can using the course, then you start to use the the fine adjustment knob. Well, do I spin it to the right? Do I spin it to the left? I mean, do I spin it forward or backward? You don't know. You don't know on which side the image is on, so you just have to sort of play with it. All right, it's getting it's getting more blurry. Well, then you you spin it the other way. Eventually, it becomes as clear as it can be. Then at that point, if you want, then you can spin the using the nose piece up to the next up to the next uh, magnification, the next eyepiece. I mean, sorry, the next objective lens, which will be the yellow, the 10x. Now suddenly, um, if all if all the adjustments are perfect, you'll just see a crisp image. However, you may you will likely have to use the fine adjustment knob once again, use uh, going forward or backward. However, if you touch the course adjustment knob, this is so zoomed in that you'll that everything will go out of out of out of focus. If you touch this on yellow or on blue or on black, it'll definitely go out of focus and you'll have to start all over again. So um, if this is now crisp, now you can move this up to the even a greater magnification, which would be the blue, and you you, could, you might have to use the uh, the, the fine adjustment. You can also use the mechanical stage control knobs to get to exactly where you want to see. However, again, you never use that, the chorus, if you're on any other color other than the red. What happens if you accidentally do? Well, you just have to start over. So you just have to go all the way back to the beginning and, um, and, uh, and, and you know, you go back to the red and you start over and you use the course once again. A little trick that I've learned over the years is, um, if you want to know if you want to know approximately where should the stage be, because there's a lot of play here. Well, if you turn it to the blue just temporarily, if you turn it to the blue and you bring your stage up, not quite so that it's touching um, the 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 objective lens is touching the slide, but close. That's approximately where your the stage is going to be. Um, when it's in focus, then you can, you know, move it to the red, use the course again to get it. Of course, now you look through the eyepiece to, uh, to, to see, to actually see the image. You may have to use the, the diaphragm and condenser here. You spin this, you can actually see how more light will shine or less light will shine. And also one more thing that you'll need to do is spin this back is when you're when you first begin and you're on the four on the 4x when you're on the red you're gonna 
you, the light will be really, really bright. So you turn, you only use as much light as you need when you're looking through. However, as you turn up the the magnification, you're gonna need to you're gonna need to turn up that light source a little bit more. And then you're gonna you go to the blue. You'll need to turn up that light source even more. Last thing I wanted to show you is how to figure out what the total magnification is. Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is multiply your the, the magnification of the eyepiece times the objective lens that you're using. So if we, you know, we go back down to the red, we're on the red, we want to figure out what's the total magnification for this particular setup. Well, 4x times 10x is 40. So the total magnification for this particular setup right now is 40x. That's how you do it. If you want to know what the total magnification is for the yellow, well, you, you, so you have to memorize what these are. It goes 4, 10, 40. 4, 10, 40. And this last one is 100, and generally we use this for microbiology with oil immersion. So in, in all the basic biologies, uh, you probably won't be using this. The, 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 the objective lens almost touches. I mean, it's basically touching the lens when you put a a, a drop of, of uh, immersion oil. <clears throat> However, uh, another example, so um, the objective lens right now, it's on the yellow. Well, it goes 4, 10, 40, so this is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So that right now, as you're looking at it, uh, this is set up at, with a total magnification of 10 times 10, 100. So that's all the parts of the microscope, how you get set up, and how you focus, and how you move your specimen around. Thank you very much and enjoy.